Hello, for this week's equipment class, we're going to need a mat and a headrest as usual. We're going to need a band, we're going to need a roller, and we're going to need a cushion. If you don't have a, or if you have a platy circle instead of a cushion, perfect. Use that instead. A lot of people you probably won't have them at the moment, so we're going to try and just tie in a cushion to get the adductors working the inside of the thighs today a little bit more. We're going to get started with the upper body a little bit. So we're going to start with the band. We're going to have the legs straight out in front, band around the bottom of the feet, up nice and tall. Shoulder blades are back, chest is up, chin is tucked in, palms facing to the ceiling, pull the elbows back and forward. Good. And back and forward. Keep the shoulder blades down, elbows in nice and tight, palms facing up the whole time. Good. Four, five, nice smooth movement. Six, seven, if you want to make it harder, wrap the hands around the band. Eight, nine, Ten. Bring the palms to face each other, up nice and tall again, and elbows come back. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep the chin tucked in. Six. Five. Pinch the shoulder blades. Four. Three more. Two. And the last one. And then the next one, you might want to loosen the band for this one, this one's a little bit harder. We're going to bring the elbows up nice and high, so chest up nice and tall. One. Keep the shoulders down. Two. Again, smooth movements. Three. The elbows come back in line with the back of the shoulders. Five. We're halfway there. Good. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, keeping the shoulder blades pinched down. Ten, and arms come forward. Keeping our legs out in front, arms straight. We're going to keep the elbows straight as we can. A little bit of a bend, but still fairly straight. We're going to bring the left hand all the way out to the side. Back in. And then the right. And in. And then the left. And in. Keep the chest facing forward. So don't let the chest twist with the arms. Keep the body still. It's just the arm that comes to the side. Three. Four, and four on the right, and five on the left. Good, halfway there, keep the shoulders down. Six, seven, keep the chest up nice and tall, don't slump back. Seven, eight, eight, two more each side. Good, and last one on the left, and last one on the right. And then rest. Now, you can cross the legs if you want, you can keep them out in front if they're as most comfortable for you. The hamstrings are tight, you'll probably find it easier crossing the legs over. <clears throat> keep the elbows in by the side, wrap the band around the thumbs, and then hold the band in the fists. We're going to then twist the hands out to the side, and back in. One, two, so we're working external rotators here, we're working all the muscles in our mid back, keeping the shoulder blades pinched down, setting a nice good posture for the chest. Five, six, and the chest is set in a good posture, we can then build the head and neck off that. Nine, and then one last one. Ten, and then back in. Have a little rest for a second. We're going to do one hand at a time, and then we're going to come onto our back and do a little bit of the band around the legs. So, chest up nice and tall again, facing straight forward, twist the left hand out, and in, and then the right, and in, and the left and the right, and the left, and the right, good, three each side done, four, four, perfect, so you start to feel the shoulder blades getting a little bit tired now, good, four more each side, and then the left again, and the right, last two, on each side, getting the hopes up there, and last one, and last one on the right. Perfect. And then turn over onto your back. So, resting the head around on our blocks, we're going to wrap the band around our thighs. So, double knot, so it doesn't come flying off, and we're going to grab the roller. Two feet on top of the roller, imprint the spine, hands by the side, and then pull the knees apart, 
and together. And nice smooth movements apart and together. And apart and together. And keep the imprint. So keep squeezing the lower abs. Good. And smooth movements in and out. And one last one. And then the legs back together. This time bring the left leg to the side. Back in. And the left again. And in. Keep the hips still. And keep that right knee still. So the left keeps coming in and out. That's four. Five. Six. Keep forcing the imprint. That will keep the pelvis still. Eight. Two more. Nine. And one last one. Ten. And back in. The right out. Ten. Left knee stays still. Eight. A nice smooth move to this right thigh as it comes in and out. That little bony point on the left side of the hip. Make sure that doesn't twist to the right as you pull that right leg out to the side. Four more. Keep the imprint. Head and shoulders are relaxed. Last two. And the last one on the right side. And then bring the legs back together. Next one we're going to do, we're going to do, an imp or if we're going to do a bridge, we're going to keep the knees out nice and wide. So we're going to get a little bit of extra work onto the glutes. So bring the heels in nice and close to the hips. Pull the knees out, knees out nice and wide. Imprint the spine, keep the knees out. And lift the hips up. And then lower back down. And scooping the hips up as you lift them up. And then lower back down. Good. And lift again. And lower down. And lift. And lower. And lift. And lower. And lower. Perfect. Shoulders are relaxed. Chin is tucked in. And lower down. Last two, make sure you get good extension and back down. One last one on the hips. Hips are up nice and high, knees are out nice and wide. Bring the knees together and apart. Together and apart. And together and apart. And together and apart. And together and apart. Keep those hips up, make sure they don't sink down as the knees come out. Perfect. Shoulders are relaxed, chin is tucked in. Last one. And then bring the knees together, rest the hips back down. Good, so you can fix yourself up on the mat, make sure your head is resting on the block nice and comfortably. We're going to lift back up into a bridge. We're going to do the same thing where we bring the knees in and out, but this time we're going to go one at a time. So imprint the spine, bring the knees out nice and wide, lift the hips up. We're going to bring the left knee in and out, and the right knee in and out. And you can cross the hands over the chest to make this harder. Good, so when the left knee comes in, the right knee stays still. As the right knee comes in, the left knee stays still. The confusing thing about this is you're going to want to bring two knees in. You always keep one knee out to the side. So the left knee comes in and then back out. Then the right knee comes in and then back out. The left knee comes in and back out. Right knee comes in. Right knee goes back out. The left knee comes in, back out. Right knee in and out and then rest the hips down onto the mat and rest down. What you find is the two legs want to come in and you want to bring one leg out at a time. We always want to keep one of those legs out to the side all the time. We're going to leave the roller down to the side for a few seconds. We're going to imprint the spine and then we're going to bring the legs to the top and band down to the ankles. Keeping the spine imprinted, knees at 90 degrees, hips at 90 degrees. Keep the shins parallel to each other. We're going to pull the heels apart and together one. Two, three, four, and smooth movements when we bring the legs back in. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, and back in. Keep the spine printed, straighten the legs to the ceiling, and then the right leg to the side, left leg stays still, right leg comes in. Left leg out, right leg stays still, back in, right leg out. And in, left leg out, and in, right leg out, and in, left leg, and in, right, and in. Keep the imprint. Make sure the back doesn't lift, the right comes out to the side, and then the left, 
one last one each side and the last one on the left bend the knees and then bring the feet down onto the mat take the band off and I'm going to leave that down to the side now we're going to come onto the row so we're going to do a little bit more for the glutes then we'll get down and the rest and we're going to use the circle or your cushion so two feet on top of the router hands across the chest imprint the spine lift the hips up and then control on the way back down good imprint and lift the hips again and then back down good and think about scooping the hips up so you're rolling pelvis back lifting up one vertebrae at a time and then rolling back down so it's a nice smooth movement keep the low back as flat as you can so we don't want to have a big arch in it here you want to keep it flat keeping the ribs down good imprint and lift again and lower down, get hands are still across the chest, imprint and lift, and lower, one more, imprint, lift the hips up, and then lower the hips back down, and resting. We're gonna come onto the left foot now on the rotor, hands by the side, right knee to the chest, imprint the spine, and lift the hips, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower and lift 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 and lower keep that right knee in nice and tight make sure it doesn't push up to the ceiling three more two last one keep the ribs down and then rest back down now we're going to switch legs so right foot onto the rotor left knee into the chest, hands by the side again, you can bring them in, you can bring them out, bring them out makes it a little bit easier, imprint and lift the hips and lower, one, two, three, four, five, and that left knee goes in an arc overhead, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, and then rest down. One last set of bridges. Left foot onto the roller again. Bring it in nice and close to the hips. This time hands on the ribs. Right knee to the chest. Dig the elbows back into the mat. And lift the hips. One. Two. You can start to feel hamstrings get a little tired now. A lot of work in the glutes to start. And now you're starting to work them even harder. So the hamstrings are going to start to kick in. And help the glutes out. So we're going to stretch them out after this. Good, hips nice and high, full extension, three more, two, and the last one, and then rest in. And now we're going to switch. So, right foot is on the roller, hands are on the ribs again, left knee to the chest, dig the elbows back, spine is imprinted and lift the hips up, and lower, one, two, Three, nice smooth movements, keep the rotor still. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, and then rest the hips down. We'll leave the rotor down to the side, and we're going to stretch the hamstrings next. With your two hands, grab the back of the right cat or thigh, straighten the right leg to the sitting room, stretch it out, so have a little rest for a second. Keep the toes pointing slightly up towards the ceiling, straighten the knee as much as you can, and just hug that thigh in towards the chest. So we're going to loosen out the hamstrings, we're going to start to straighten the legs to the ceiling for a few more exercises, so the looser they are, the easier those exercises will be, on the abs anyway, harder on the adductors, the muscles on the inside of the thigh. And then switch. Straighten the left leg to the ceiling. Same thing, two hands around the back of the left thigh. Foot relaxed, pointing slightly upwards. And then hug the thigh to the chest. So we've done the abductors, the muscles on the outside of the thigh, the glutes along here. Now we're going to work the ad adductors on the inside, the ADD adductors on the inside here. So we're going to start to work a little bit of strength with them. If you have the circle, we're going to use that next. If you don't, just use a cushion or a pillow at home. And then bend the left knee and bring the left foot down. So next we're going to do, imprint the spine, bring the legs to tabletop, 
Circle or cushion between the thighs, shins are parallel. Squeeze and relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shoulders relax. Eight, nine, ten. Keep the circle squeeze or the cushion squeeze. Drop the left leg to the side. Squeeze in. Right leg out. Squeeze in. Left leg out. Shin stay parallel. Back in. Right leg out. And in. Left leg out. And in. Right leg. And in. Left leg. And in. Right leg. And in. Left. And in. Right. And in. Left. Right. Keep the shins parallel. Keep that imprint. Keep squeezing the back down. One more each side. And the last one on the right. Grab this pillow. Bring, bring your feet down and have a rest. Next, we're going to bring the circle or the pillow between the ankles. It's going to add a rotational component to it. I'm going to work the same muscles. I'm going to straighten to the ceiling. As we change, we straighten legs to the ceiling. You get into gracilis, one of the other adductors on the inside. And that only works when you straighten the knee. So we're going to work on that a little bit now. Imprint the spine, legs to tabletop. Pillow between the ankles. 90 degrees at the knee, 90 degrees at the hips. Squeeze and relax. Two, the two legs together. Three, four, focus on the imprint. Keep the ribs down, back is flat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep the knees above the hips, straighten the legs to the ceiling and squeeze. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees and bring the feet down. One more with the pillow between the ankles. Imprint the spine again. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Knees are over the hips. Straighten the legs to the ceiling. Squeeze the pillow. Drop the heels two inches and lift. And lower and lift. Keep the head and shoulders out. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Good. Five. Halfway there. Six. Nice smooth breath. Seven. Keep the back imprinted. Eight. Nine. And the last one. Ten. Bend the knees. Bring the feet down. And rest for a second. One more set. With the pillow. We're going to have it when the knee or when the hip is straight. So you have the hip at 45 degrees, the hip at 90 degrees, and then we're going to work on the hips at zero degrees or straight. To do that, we're going to put the circle between the thighs. Imprint the spine. Lift the hips up nice and high, hands down by the side. Straighten the right leg, squeeze and relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Bend the right knee. Hips nice and high again, straight line from the knee to the shoulder. Going straight through the hips, straighten the left leg, squeeze and relax. One, Two, make sure the hips are level left to right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Bend the left knee, bring the hips down, and knee for a pillow or a circle down to the side. And we're going to come on to the roller next. So we're going to sit right on the very end of the roller. Lie back onto it, so the head and spine are on the rotor. And then just drop the hands back by the side. So elbows and line to shoulders, dropping the hands back. And just stretching at the front of the chest. Don't drop the elbows down or the wrists down lower than each other. So keep those forearms parallel to the floor as they sink down. You're stretching at the front of the chest. You might feel a pinch in the shoulders. Sometimes the shoulder joint is stretching out. We're trying to loosen up the, the structure at the front of the shoulder. And then bring the hands back down by the side. Next, we're going to work on a little bit of balance. We're going to bring the right leg into tabletop. So the spine is imprinted. We're going to bring the left hand up towards the ceiling. And then back down. And then the left leg to tabletop, keeping the spine imprinted. And then right hand to the ceiling. And back down. Good. Right leg again to the tabletop. Left hand reaching up to the ceiling. Then putting the weight through the left leg 
we're going to bring the right hand up towards the ceiling. And then bring the arms down, and then the leg back down. Left leg to tabletop, imprint the spine. Right hand to the ceiling, bring the weight onto that right leg. We're going to bring the left hand to the ceiling. Good. And then back down. If you feel unsteady and you're a bit too shaky to bring the hands up, bring the leg up, one hand just up off the mat, and then the other hand up off the mat. So they're just hovering an inch or two off the mat. They don't have to come all the way up. And then back down. Imprint the spine again. Bring two legs to tabletop, hand to by the side. I'm going to come into some toe taps. So right foot lightly off the mat, keeping the spine imprinted, and then the left foot. Two, and then the right. Three, keep squeezing the back into the rotor. Four, five, six, seven. Be careful as you reach the foot down. The back will want to lift. You're dropping the heels a little bit lower than when we do the imprint on the mat. So it's a little bit harder to maintain that imprint. One more. And then bring the feet down onto the mat. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to imprint the spine, bring the two legs to the tabletop, and this time we're going to lift one hand up to the ceiling. Again, you don't have to lift the hand all the way to the ceiling, you can just lift the hand an inch or two off the mat. So, imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, we're going to pick the right hand up, and again you can go an inch off the mat, or the hand all the way to the ceiling, and then back down. Keep the legs in tabletop, left hand up, to the ceiling if you want, or just off the mat, and back down. And then right hand up to the ceiling again, back down, left hand to the ceiling, and down. This time, right hand to the ceiling, right toes to the mat, legs to tabletop, hands by the side. Left hand to the ceiling, left toes to the mat, legs to tabletop, hands by the side. Right hand to the ceiling, right toes to the mat, legs to tabletop, hands by the side, left toes to the mat, left hand to the ceiling, legs to tabletop, hands by the side, and then rest the feet down onto the mat again. Great. We're going to do one more on the rotor. We're going to imprint the spine, bring the right leg to tabletop, reach the hands to the bottom of the mat, chin to the chest, head and shoulders up, and beat the hands. One, two, three. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breathe in again. One, two, three, four, five. And breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Down look side to side. <laughs> you lose your balance. Three, four, five. And breathe out. Two, three, four, five. And breathe in. Two, three, four, five. And breathe out. Two, three, four, five. One more breath in on the left leg. And breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Bring the feet down, rest the head down. We're going to switch. So we're going to go for the second half of this hundred. Left leg is on tabletop, chin to the chest, head and shoulders up and beat the hands. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, four, five. And breathe in. Two, three, four, five. And out. Two, four, five. And in. Two, four, five. And out. Two, four, five. And in. Two, three, four, five. And out. Two. Four, five, one last breath in. Five and breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Rest the head down, rest the feet down, and then come off the rower. We're going to turn the rower 90 degrees this time, and we're going to lie back onto it. Hands back behind the head, and we're going to roll from the ribs, lowest ribs, all the way up to the neck. And again, focus on whatever is the most tender spot. So whether it's up near the shoulders, you might want to bring the elbows in. Or if it's lower down the low back, you might want to bring the elbows apart. And you can even stop on the worst spot. You can, if it's more towards the right, twist the body to the right. If it's a little bit to the left, you can go towards the left. And just focus on those worst areas, small little passes back and forward. And then rest the hips out onto the mat. Next we're going to do, we're going to sit up onto the rotor. So we're going to roll out the hips as we run and stretching them. Hands back behind your body. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. And we're going to roll onto the right hip. So just slightly to the right side. Rolling back and forward. 
And then as you're going back and forth, you're going to twist further and further and further towards the right side. Good. Sometimes it's worse towards the outside, sometimes it's closer towards the centre. Again, just focus on whichever part is most tender for you. And then back towards the middle, and we'll switch sides. So, left ankle over the left knee, roll onto the left hip, and again, rolling back and forward. Every time you open the inch, twist a little bit further towards the left. Until your left thigh is nearly on the rotor, and then start to come back. And focus again on that worst area, whichever one is the most tender. And then back towards the centre. Bring the feet down onto the mat. And we're going to turn over onto our stomachs and we're going to roll the front of the quad legs. So, rolling from the knees all the way up to the hips and then back to the knees again. You can turn the toes out and it'll be more tender in and around the knees. You can twist the legs so the toes point towards each other and get a little bit more tender towards the hips. So, different parts of the quads. The quads run up the front of the thighs with a slightly twist out towards the side as they come closer to the hip joint. And the bulky parts of the quads do. So as you twist the legs in and out, you're going to get different parts of that muscle. And to make this one a little bit harder, you can bend the knees, stretches the muscle out, the knots have nowhere to hide. You can drop the heels out to the side to get that bulky part of the quads again. Or if you want to be really mean, you can twist the hips to the left, lift the right thigh all the way up off the rotor, and roll back and forward. And you can swing the hips to the right, lift the left thigh up, and roll back and forward again. And if you want to be really mean, just hold on the worst spot takes the blood supply and reduces it a massive amount so the cells crave more oxygen and then when you come off that point the blood rushes back into the area and helps to relax the muscle. Rest the knees down behind the rotor now and then we're finished with that for today. See you next week. Bye bye.